Hi Chris, it's a bird so this is the tutorial for the FX advisory trade. I've been getting quite a few emails on how to trade the FX advisory, what time frame is ideal, and also where to take profit. So I'm going to just give you a few pointers. Number one, try to stay away from the lower time frames. And and the lower time frames I mean is anything below four hour. Um, you can trade off the one hour chart. But I would not advise it. Um, the best trade setups are on the four hour and daily chart. So I'm going to show you a few trade setups, a uh, few trades that I took on the four hour chart. And that means, yes, you'd have to have more patience and wait for that uh, good setup. But I guarantee you, um, you have more success, more consistent, profitable trades trading off the daily and four hour chart than if you. Uh, trade off the one hour chart. Don't trade off the 15 minute chart. You'll get so many false signals. Um, you get discouraged after about a few trades. So let me just get started. First, the panel. There's a lot of confusion as to how to use this panel. And really, there's you don't need to use the panel. What you need to do is focus on price action and uh, buy and sell signals on the four hour chart. Um, yes, it's it's nice to see that in the 15, the 30, one hour, um, and you can change this. You can change this to a four hour, and it shows that it's uh, all in a downtrend. That the one hour chart is in an uptrend. So I really don't pay attention to the channel because what I'm looking at, what I'm focusing on, is price action and where price and um, and the signals. Also, I'm looking at previous support and resistance level. This is the CAD yen. There were two great trade setups. The first one was here. We had a, a trade signal down at 82.37. The FX advisory generated. Notice there's a bullish engulfing candle, and that was what I was looking for. I don't wait for a signal. What I'm waiting for is a candlestick pattern, and there it was. Um, I'm currently short on Canadian yen, and what I had to do is take my trend line and find swing points, and also I added the MACD indicator. And on the MT4, you don't have two lines you can get those two lines that I have on my other uh, platform but the trend line break on a four hour chart was enough for me to take this trade I didn't have to worry too much about stochastics in the, or rather the MACD indicator the trend line break on a four hour chart price breaks below the trend line where the FX advisory generates a signal and that was enough for me to take a trade still in this trade and I'm looking to exit down at these levels, down at where, um, number one, this trend line crosses the buy, in, buy indicator on the FX advisory. So that's one trade setup. Now that I know that the Canadian dollar is weak, I'm looking at USD CAD. And there's a nice, this is a four hour chart, and there's a nice buy signal on the FX advisory indicator. Currently we're up about 15 pips on the straight. And again, you can use a trend line, you can use price action. We had an inside bar, we have uh, indecision candles, and then a bullish engulfing candle, and that was my uh, alert. We had two, we had an inside bar um, from yesterday, and then we have all this congestion price would not print lower the FX advisory telling us to, to buy and we buy okay so we know that the Canadian dollar is weak the Canadian yen is in a downtrend USD CAD is in an uptrend so let's look at some other pairs now here's the pound Canadian dollar again the pound is weak and I'm sorry, the, the, uh, the pound is strong and the Canadian dollar is weak. And I haven't 
taken this trade yet because I'm waiting for this candle, this four hour candle to close, which would tell me this is a morning star. So I'm just going to wait for this four hour candle to close. If it does, then yes, then I will enter a trade. My stop loss would be below this 183.47, about 10 pips below this support. This is the get ready level on the advisory indicator. I'm just waiting for that candle to close. If it turns into a morning star, then yes, that confirms that this rundown is over. And since the Canadian dollar is, is um, weak, then I'd be very interested in taking this trade. We still have um, at least another hour before this candle closes. So we're going to wait and see what happens. We don't have enough information to take the trade other than the fact that this is a buy zone on the advisory indicator. There's a great trade set up on New Zealand dollar. We were, we were still in an uptrend, but this is the retracement. I'm still long on this pair from down here, but I took a short position based on the FX advisory indicator. We have a spinning top and this candle is breaking below the spinning top inside bar on the four hour chart. And we would sell using the indicator, FX advisory indicator at price action. Um, you can also throw in stochastics indicator to help you with um, overbought and oversold conditions. And I use a 14, 5, and 3 on a higher time frame. And the two lines are starting to cross to the downside, and that's what you need. Uh, we also have a slight divergence right there on uh, stochastics. So anything that you can find, I tried to find at least three or four reasons to take a trade, and there it was. There was a nice divergence on, this, on stochastics. The stop loss is above that 71.46. Remember, this is just a retracement, and you don't want to be staying in this trade for a very long time. Most likely, it will uh, come back down to 50% of that bullish engulfing candle before, and then turn around and head north. Or, if it comes back down to these levels, this is a support, and this was the entry that was taken yesterday on this pair. The market was in an uptrend, and then it came back down and gave us a nice um, bullish engulfing candle on the four hour chart and there was the trade here's a great trade setup on the australian dollar a nice hammer at the sell level on the four hour chart we also have a trend line break if you connect the swing points this swing point to that swing point, evening star, price breaks below, more confirmation, throw up the stochastics indicator. And again, I'm always looking for many reasons to take a trade, gives me more confidence to stay in longer in these trades. Otherwise, if it turns against you, you make exit that trade because you don't feel comfortable so we have a trend line break we have an evening star the FX advisory gives us a sell signal the entry was up here and there's the trade so great that is the tutorial on this um, indicator it's very powerful you just have to make sure you don't use this on the smaller time frame simply because um, it repaints too much on a 15, on a 30, even on a one hour chart. So look at the four hour and daily chart or even on the weekly chart for good trade setups. So have a good trading um, week. What's left of it? We only have today and tomorrow. Um, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.